Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. Uh, this is a really short video to show you how to uh, uh, run the example listing um, that's from uh, listing six in the book that compares the timing of a list versus a dictionary. And uh, this is the best listing for you to modify to get yours to work. I've commented a listing and put it up on the assignment. And so I have that in PY Charm here. And I've run it. And I've gotten the results down at the bottom. And I have selected all the results. And what I've added to this listing is a print statement at the top that prints headings. And I've also modified the print statement to do uh, slash t between the data. And I've modified how it prints the data to just 0.5 decimals. Uh, so you could use this same technique in your final. Uh, once you copy this, so I'm going to copy what I've selected down here. Uh, you need to switch to Excel, and uh, you start a blank workbook. And if you don't have Excel, uh, it's easy to do this in the classroom or come to our lab. Uh, there are also ways to do this in Google Docs if you want to do that, or you can use the, um, the online Excel. It'll just work a little differently. So we're going to do a paste here. You just pick the first cell and you paste in uh, everything. Let's see, I think we just have, there we go. And give it a little time here. I'm going to do that right there. Paste. Okay, now once you've pasted it in, it's going to all be selected, which is you what you want. If it isn't selected, you just drag your mouse, starting with the label here, all the way down to the last piece of data, including all three columns. Once you've selected it, you go up to the Insert tab. And then this is the type of chart we want. That's called a scatter chart. And you just want the very first choice. So you go down and you choose this choice right here. And it shows you a picture of what it's going to do. And that's your scatter chart. And at this point, you could save the file. There's a little save button here. It'll ask for a file name and where do you want to put it. And that's what you need to send to me along with the Python code. Uh, so that's it.